All right, so we're going to our favorite CPAP guinea pig. Prettiest C guinea pig that there is. There's a guinea pig CPAP. We're gonna see what she thinks about the new Eye Breeze from Resvent versus her uh, AirSense 10 that she's been using, AirSense 10 for her, that she's been using for years. How do you feel about that test run? I'm looking forward to it. I really like my AirSense 10, so should be interesting to see how the new machine is right. in general. Any concerns? What do you think is gonna happen? Mm -hmm. A little bit concerned at first, but once I opened it and we kind of ran through the machine a little bit, um, I'm feeling a lot more confident. But I've been using my AirSense 10 for her for three years now, and I use it every night. We even try, I even travel with it now when we go somewhere. I don't want her snoring on me. So pretty similar footprints on the nightstand. Um, darn near identical there. and. Um, we're gonna leave the AirSense plugged in just in case we have like a midnight <laughs> panic attack and we need to switch back. I'm sure it'll be fine. So uh, hang with me here, I'm gonna let her film. We're gonna put the exact same settings in both machines. I wanna So first things first, we'll jump into the clinical menu on both of these machines. So currently, Caitlin has prescribed a auto four to seven. So we're gonna do that over here. She has very mild sleep apnea, but does not sleep without her CPAP. All right, we're using a full face. Fifteen millimeter tube. Five minutes ramp, starting at four. Starting at four, EPR is a three. So we'll put it as a three in here as well. Humidity set at a manual six on here. So we will do the same. in here. And everything else is gonna be pretty Similar. All right, so back into regular menus here, and we will see how this thing goes. Wish us both luck because a mama with very little sleep is not good for the family, so. <laughs> Nobody wins. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Let's get her hooked up. I'm just gonna go straight from one CPAP to the next. Same mask, same setup. Get the Viterra, what is that, a small? It is a small. And in fact, I don't. <laughs> Should I clean my mask? Make sure you get a good seal on that. We don't wanna. Mess that up. Okay. Is it? That's it. Da -da -da -da. Where That's good. Great seal. Feels all right. It's quiet. All right, she's running. Very little noise. Let's see what the night brings. Night night. It's almost nine hours of sleep. Good mass fit. Humidity. All right, night one on the eye breeze from Resvent. What do we think? It was good. Yeah. Um, was surprisingly good. It was 
you know, getting used to a new CPAP device and it learning you, a little few minutes there of um, adjustment period, I would call it. But I slept the entire night and even my watch says I got great sleep. So very good. So. Nice. Yeah, so it was good. I had no issue. Any adjustments that we had to make or any? So we changed, um, and I forget what it's called, but it's the EPR on the AirSense 10 is what they call it. And we adjusted that down a little bit, whereas on the AirSense 10, it's a three for me and I went to one. So a uh, lesser EPR, what's it called for the ivory? Exhalation relief. Yeah. Um, IPR is what they call it. IPR um, for this particular unit. And it was perfect. Okay. So on this one, it was a little bit more aggressive on the exhalation relief overall. And you, you felt that way anyway. So like you had to reduce the exhalation relief yes. on the ivories. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then we were good to go. All right. Didn't wake up once. Didn't adjust it once. Good job. Two thumbs up. All right. So um, the demo went well. Uh, I would say eight and a half hours of uninterrupted sleep is certainly a, uh, a good uh, start for, for a machine like this. So. Um, the two things I would point out about this is we did have to decrease her exhalation setting from a three to a one as compared to her air sense for her that she uses. I'm sure there's some differences in the algorithm there that make that a little bit, uh, a little bit different feeling uh, obviously for the user. So, you know, you could play around with those settings if you feel like there's a, a little bit of an exhalation issue there at all. Um, the other thing was from my point of view, I think I was probably listening really hard to see if I could hear it just first, off the, I, I really didn't hear much at all, but I felt like I might have heard it a little more than I hear her air since 10 on most nights, but that could genuinely also be because I was trying to listen for the noise. So, um, I slept fine. I didn't really hear anything, but when I lay there super calm and quiet, I felt like I could hear it more than usual, but certainly not a, a, of significance. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, and then we, um, we did go ahead and print out her compliance report for a one night so that you can see exactly um, what that looks like. I'll pop it up on the screen. But um, it does produce a great compliance report for that and therapy. Um, on there you'll see, obviously when you're selecting the time frame, we've just got one day. But if you needed a 30 day report, you could select 30 days and it would give you your percentage over four hours for 30 days, which would be your comp uh, compliant percentage. And then of course it's gonna tell you a little bit about your usage, what your uh, 95th percentile pressure was, what your apnea hypopnea index was, did you have any central apnea? So um, it also has some other information on there that um, is only relevant if you're using it in, um, you know, in conjunction with a oximetry device or something of that nature. So produces a great compliance report as well. And um, we're happy with it. I think um, overall, we've had a really good experience with this particular device. And uh, we look forward to getting a lot of feedback from customers. So please, if you would, if you get this device and you try it, please throw us a comment um, on this video so that other people can share in your experience a little bit. Again, thank you for watching. We always appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the information and subscribe if you want more. Thanks. Have a great day.